do you still maintain that year end uh, target and, and the target is just a nominal number what i mean is that from here on do you still believe that the markets could be higher in december than what they are right now and uh, part two of my question therefore would be would you be uh, in, in that construct would you be bullish on uh, large caps with high visibility which may be slightly more expensive than some of the others on which the street has doubt or are you kind of changing it a little bit and starting to at the margin look at uh, some of the others where the valuations might be a lot more comfortable yeah no uh, i i think uh, you know the uh, uh, so our view uh, has been you know preferring uh, large caps over let's say the mid and small caps now having said that uh, you know obviously mid and small cap space uh, one i think you know we sort of think that you know it's more of a bottom up uh, approach right and therefore when you have a risk off and you find some of the smaller names you know uh, get uh, you know correct significantly i think at the margin uh, one should and start looking at some of those names uh, from a longer term perspective if if one believes in the business model and you know uh, feel comfortable about a longer term uh, perspective uh, but given the macro headwind and as i mentioned you know part of it is probably addressed but there's a lot of uh, you know there is there's still a fair bit of uncertainty that we are dealing with at the margin i would say we would still be sort of you know uh, sticking uh to the to the uh, larger cap uh, larger cap uh, names okay and, and still kind of constructive for the index to head uh, yeah. close to those levels i mean irrespective of the exact number but still constructive on that yeah i mean see uh, i think see you know frankly i i feel it's 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 a it's a bit tricky but i must say that you know the balance between let's say you know uh, how india's growth plays out uh and how inflation play out i think that uh, equation still uh, i think uh, you know presents a scenario where you could get a index level which is higher than where it is today so you know the fact is you know in fact at the start of the year our concern was that the the world was the growth globally was a lot stronger which is which is not necessarily very good news for india because you know um, uh, india is you know there is a dependence of india's growth to the global growth but it is much lesser than other parts of the world uh, and also more importantly it does end up creating a lot of inflationary pressure and creates additional macro headwinds uh, for india so you know that scenario has changed so at the margin uh, india which is more domestic oriented in its growth uh, if we can uh, sort of deliver growth in india i think to the, you know and, and and sort of you know in the in the five or six handle and your inflationary pressure comes down the bond yield sort of cool off uh, then you know to uh, to see an upside from the current level would not be uh, very sort of uh, unrealistic but i must say that you know this all depends on how the growth equation uh, plays out because at this point we are not taking a very disruptive view on growth see the fact of the matter is that uh you know uh, the bank's balance sheets are good the corporate balance sheets are good so we are not uh, forecasting any major dislocation the key uncertainty is that what kind of an impact had covid made and you know the the two years of covid and and whether or not it had a very significant negative in, impact on india's potential growth rate so that's the only concern that ha we have but that's not a base case scenario that we are looking for a major disruption so in that sense uh, you know i think the growth uh, is good enough it's not very robust but the outlook on growth is good enough uh, to sort of deliver those kind of returns at the broader market level and also re you know remember that you know the bigger companies are doing well uh, they are they are sort of um, more capable of handling the stress they are gaining uh, market share and that's what they have demonstrated uh, you know through the covid period